All right, everybody, welcome back to class. This is my grammar hour. And this hour, we are going to be talking about prefixes and suffixes. Okay, you may be going prefix, suffix, what are those? Those, sounds, those sound like fancy words. Maybe they're computer words. Okay, prefixes are, are letters that go at the beginning of a word, okay, that enhance that word. Okay, by some form or another, and suffixes go at the end of a word. Okay, like ness or li or ed or er. Okay, that would be a suffix. Um, prefixes like re or un or dis. Okay, so those those are the type of uh, uh, beginnings and endings that we're going to be practicing, and we're going to be creating new words. Now, with suffixes and uh, prefixes, we can uh, we can change the meaning of the word to mean the opposite of what it what it means. Okay, like uh, to reach. Okay, I want to I wanted to call and reach Karar. I wanted to call him on the phone, but uh, and and call and reach him on the phone. But he was unreachable. He was unreachable. So I took the word reach, okay, and I added un to the beginning of it, and I added a bull to the end of it, okay? Un meaning not, and a bull meaning able, okay? So I was not able to reach him, okay? So we can say a lot with one word. I, he was un. Reachable. I was not able to reach Karar because he was playing soccer. Okay, so those are going to be prefixes un and able suffixes. So we're going to learn about uh, what those are, and then I have a couple of games that I wanted to, that I wanted to play with you guys, um, practicing those those different uh, types of endings. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's see who we have so far. Um, we have Alejandro. How are you, Alejandro? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, man. Where are you from, Alejandro? I'm from Ecuador. Ecuador. Excellent. I've got a lot of students from uh, uh, coming in uh, from Ecuador. It's good to have you here. Okay, thank you. Uh, what uh, What do you do? Uh, in this moment, only study. Okay, you're only you're only studying. Um, uh, what do you study? Uh, and are you in the university? Yes, university, but uh, okay. I need to improve my English. Okay, that's <laughs> a, that's a, that's that's why you're here at Verbling. That's awesome. Now, what are you studying in the university? What's your uh, what, what's going to be your major? Uh, I don't know if I say the correct pronunciation is engineering in telecommunication. Sure. Yeah, that's great. So, telecommunication okay. engineering, something like that. Uh, very nice. And uh, how, how how many more years do you have left to study? This is, uh, this is my last semester. Yes. Done with school. <laughs> yes. Very cool. So what what do you want to do? What do, what do you want to do with uh, with your degree? You want to um, obviously work in telecommunications, but uh, do you have a specific company that you want to work for? I had a dream. Uh, I would like to do a um, master degree. Okay, cool. But I need to lear learn uh, my English. I need, I need to learn English. Sorry. Okay, so you need to improve your, your English a bit more. Um, uh, do you have to learn English to then enter into that master's degree program? Sorry? Uh, do you have to learn, uh, do you have to know English better? to be yes. able to get into the master's degree program. Yes, yes. Because okay, got it. Got it. Okay, cool. All right, well, welcome welcome to class. It's good to have you here. All right, let's see. We also have Besmiles. How are you doing? I'm fine. I was in the class before, so. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, this is my other Ecuadorian. All right, yes. so we've got uh, two so far. I don't think I have any others from Ecuador. Amparo isn't here. Um, yep, yeah, I don't think I have any others. Anyway, so uh, welcome you guys to, to class. Good to have you here. Let's see, we have Gary. 
Gary, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, sir. Awesome. Now, Gary, um, I, I remember from before I used to have you in, cla in class quite often, uh, but I haven't seen you for a while. So um, uh, please remind me, Gary, where are you from? I'm from Mauritania. Uh, say that one more. Oh, you're from Algeria. Is that what you said? No, Mauritania in Africa. Ah, that's why. Yes, because it was that country. Mauritania. Okay. Mauritania. Awesome. And uh, y looking at this picture, you look I, like I you are. Told, I have told you that before. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. Now, uh, Gary, looking at this picture here, you look like you are very, very tall. Are you are you very tall, Gary? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, how how tall are you, Gary? Uh, one 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 meter uh, thirty centimeters. One meter fifty centi fifteen centimeters. Wow. Yes. Yeah, you're no, no, you're no, 30, 30, 30. 30? 50. 50. About 30, yes, about 30 something. One meter, about 30 centimeters. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty tall, my friend. Yes. That's pretty tall, definitely. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, well, I'm uh, I'm I'm not even uh, three. I'm not even one meter tall. So uh, if I if I saw you, you would be very tall to me. <laughs> All right, very cool, man. <laughs> very cool. Good, good to have you here. Uh, let's also go to my favorite pilot. How Thank you doing, you. Aaron? I'm great, and you, teacher. I'm doing good. It looks like you got your uh, your video camera working again. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. I fixed it. It's everything. Awesome. It's okay now again. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, where did you fly today? Actually, today my, is my day off, teacher. Great. Yes. Great, getting a little bit of uh, rest and relaxation. R and learning and a R. lot of English. <laughs> That's right. Very nice, very nice. So uh, is your plan, uh, you, are you going to hang out here on Verbling for a lot of the time today? Yes, maybe uh, one more class with you. Uh, perhaps you, ha you, you have another class at uh, 5, I don't know, each, each time you are in your city now. Uh, yeah, so I've got, I usually teach for uh, three hour blocks. So I have a three hour block that I'm doing right now. I'm in the middle of that. Um, then I have about two hours off, and then I have another three hour block. And then I've got four hours off, and then in the middle of the night, I teach, uh, teach another three hours. So uh, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing today. But uh, I, I, repeat, uh, I repeat the classes. I usually do about four or five classes uh, a day with, uh, or four or five topics a day. And, uh, and uh, repeat those classes on the back end at, at night. For, okay, for great. People. So, yeah, very cool. Well, good to have you back in class. Thank you. All right. And we also have Inga. Inga, how are you? Uh, hi, Chad. Uh, I'm not so good, but uh, I'm Why red. Why not? <laughs> what? Did you say that you <laughs> It was a terrible day for me. Oh, no. Yes. What happened? <laughs> Tell us about it. Tell Dr. Chad. Tell Dr. Chad. <laughs> Uh, are you my psychologist? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what, what happened? Why did you have such a terrible day? And, and, and yes, yeah, so we need also, uh, instead of uh, a singing class, we have some, <laughs> we need some psychology classes. So, so, so I think because uh, she is taller than me. <laughs> yeah, so, so what happened today, Inga? Why was it so terrible? Uh, some problems at work. <laughs> oh man! And it, was it problems with your boss or problems with other no, uh, coworkers? Yeah. Not oh, from well. uh, from our work. <clears throat> we um uh, we have some contract uh, with uh, appraisal companies. So um, today uh, some uh, uh, one director of that company. Comes and um, we have some. We had some di discussion about uh, one problem. <coughs> so uh, he uh, went 
and uh, then uh, then my boss called him to ask some questions because uh, Inga was uh, so rough to me <laughs> so on really? so blah blah <laughs> yeah but uh, <laughs> yeah but um, actually um, he started <laughs> that um, misunderstanding Wow, I couldn't uh, I couldn't see how you could be uh, be mean or rough with someone else. You you you've always been very calm and nice and polite here in class. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, so why I am so um, <laughs> I'm so um, what a bummer. Uh, angry about it. <laughs> well, well, uh, the best way, the best thing to do is to take out your anger on learning grammar in English. Yes, I will try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back to class, and I hope okay, everything. Uh, I hope you're able to relax and uh, and whatnot. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to Julie. How you doing, Julie? Um. Uh, hello again. <laughs> hello again. And uh, Julie. Julie is one of my new Russian students. I had a. I had a couple Russians last. Uh, last hour, and uh, so yes, we were we were talking a little bit. How's how's everything going, Julie? Everything fine these days? Yeah, everything fine. I'm again at your class, so I'm happy. By the way, teacher, I yes. want to ask you about weather now in Costa Rica. Where where I live now in Costa Rica? Weather, weather. Oh, the weather. Uh, the weather right now, it's a little warm. Um, it's uh, probably at about 28, uh, 20, oh. 28 degrees Celsius. It's not too bad. Um, uh, it may, because it, now, so for example, earlier, let's see, Sunday, Sunday it was about 30, and there was no wind, and so it was really hot, and it was just uncomfortable, um, but, uh, but yeah, right now it's probably about 28, but we have some wind, I'm looking, our clothes, uh, right out, right out my window that's in front of me, our clothes are hanging on the line, and, uh, and, the, and it's blowing, and it's nice, and whatnot, so it's a, uh, it seems to be a little bit better, better day. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So it, that's about how it is. What's the weather like there in Russia right now? Is it snowing? Um, I bet it's snowing, huh? Um, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> now it's minus ten. <laughs> oh no! Snow, snow fall. I live in <laughs> Siberia. And... You live in Siberia? Yes. Holy and... cow! Come on, it's a, a super place. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, yesterday we we was going to, um, to uh, okay snowboard. You know, I like it snowboard. Cool. And, and yes, maybe we can go to snowboard. Maybe at May too. <laughs> really, it's still there's still snow there in May. Yes, you know, wow. here is uh, bears uh, at Gispy, you know. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. No. Yeah, well, in, the, in the United States, I, I, uh, I come from a place that's called Utah. And we have, yes. we have a lot of snow there as well, but it doesn't get, it, I mean, it gets cold, but not that cold. Um, rarely does it get uh, below zero, and that would be zero degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, usually, we're at around maybe two to two to three or four degrees in the, at night, um, and then uh, during the day, you know, during during the winter months, we're probably at about twenty, um, twenty, uh, twenty to thirty degrees Fahrenheit. Something like that. So uh, it, it, it freezing is below thirty. It's either three thirty or thirty three. Something like that uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But uh, yeah, it gets pretty cold, but not that cold. Siberia is is a pretty cold place. But uh, anyway, that's interesting. Well, thank you, thank you for sharing, Julia. It was good good to meet you and good to find out more about you. Thank you. All right, very thank cool. You. Let's go to Karar. How you doing, Karar? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Anything uh, new happening today? Yes, I had a great day today. Good. What happened? I, I went to play billiards maybe for two hours with my friends, and then I went to do some shopping. I bought uh, a t-shirt and trouser, and I bought nice. uh, some sport clothes. Cool. Uh, then I had a terrible, terrible story. When what I happened? when I want to come back to my when I want to come back to my home with my cousin. I, I said to him, I want to book a, a, a taxi. He said to me, no, that's my job. I want to book him. When he book a taxi, he's drunk 
a lot of beer, the driver, and he can't oh, no. stand the, the road. And I say to my to my cousin, I want to be that. Oh, terrible, man. terrible. And then when when I when I was when I, when I when I come to home, I say thank goodness, I'm oh, I'm still man. alive. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, that would be terrible, so driver. <laughs> yeah, that would be so scary to get behind the wheel of someone that's been uh, been drinking like that. I imagine uh, the whole time you're like this, you're going, oh no, oh no, what's going on? He's probably driving. And the driver all the laughing. I uh, driver laughing. I uh, don't take care about the road. And he he can't start his, himself. He can't oh, he can't be, be control on his mind. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad you arrived safe and sound. All right, yep. great, good good story. Thank you for sharing. Nice job, man. All right, let's go to Catherine. Catherine, how are you? I'm fine. Hello. Hi, and uh, Catherine. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I don't. I don't believe I've had the pleasure of having you in my class before. Am I right? Yes, I was in your previous class. Were you there? I, I have changed my account name. Uh, there was, was a tool at the It's the name okay. of my university. Got <laughs> you. Now it's my real name. Okay, so now we have two Russians here in class. Catherine is from St. Petersburg. All right, yes. and uh, so Catherine, tell us uh, tell us what your hobby is. What do you what do you enjoy doing? Oh, I also enjoy snowboarding or ski and skating oh. because it's um, a good winter in Russia and we can go um, to ski, to ski. <laughs> yeah, go skiing and have fun. Nice. Excellent. Well, that's great. Well, welcome back to class. And uh, so, Catherine. All right. So, um, it, uh, it helps me remember who you are if you have a picture. So, for example, uh, uh, Julie. Um, Julie, if you come in with that picture every time, I will more than likely remember you. Okay? And especially since you're from Siberia. But sometimes, like my friend Inga, it takes me, I don't know, two weeks to remember where she's from. But now that I remember, it's, uh, I won't forget unless she changes her picture. And it throws me into a loop. But Inga here is from Armenia, and uh, and I'll oh. always remember that. So yes, Catherine, uh, get uh, make sure to get a uh, a picture, okay? Or um, because yeah, if you come in with a uh, um, uh, the blue outline thing like how it is here, then yeah. I have a harder time remembering. But I will work really hard at trying to remember who you are, okay? Okay, I will do it. <laughs> All right, very cool. All right, you guys, we also have Andre. He's, he came in a little bit later, but that's okay. Andre is from Brazil. He likes tennis, and, uh, and he also plays guitar, and he also enjoys long walks on the beach, ladies. No, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> Andre, how are you doing? How's everything going, man? I'm good, man. What about you? I'm doing good. Anything new going on today? Um... I'm still free this week, but today I have to study a little. All right, so you just have a little things you're doing because it, you're you're free this week. You don't have any uh, any activities going on. Yeah, I'm going to study today a little. Oh, okay, going to study today. Awesome, man. Okay, well, welcome, uh, welcome to class, everybody. Looks like uh, most people have been here. Uh, my newest, uh, my newest person is going to be Alejandro from Ecuador. All right, so uh, Alejandro, uh, my name is Teacher Chad. Um, uh, I am from the United States, from a place called Utah, but I live in Costa Rica. I, I speak uh, only two languages, um, uh, which would be Spanish and English. Okay, and I've been here with Verbling for about. I don't know, maybe about a month now. Um, I used to work at uh, uh, another website and other places, but I started working here full time uh, about two weeks ago, and I love it. It's awesome. Okay, so uh, we are going to be uh, practicing our grammar this hour, and if you go to the class materials, you will see uh, we're going to go over the prefix and suffix chart first, you guys. Okay, uh, so let's uh, let's open that up. If you do not have it or cannot find it, I'm going to put it in the Verbling chat for you. Okay, I'm also going to put it in the Google chat. Looks like we got a lot of a lot of people hanging out there today. Okay, so there you go. All right, everybody. Okay, so um, uh, during class. 
to uh, reduce any any noise and whatnot, let's uh, let's make sure that we have our microphones muted. So if we're typing or if we have cars that drive by, things like that, uh, we won't be able to uh, we won't be able to hear that. Okay, um, and that way we can we can focus and, and we can listen as well. I can hear your pronunciations and make sure that you're pronouncing words correctly. Okay, uh, so the I just put the uh, the link in the chat box and I want you guys to open that up and we're going to read through these when you open it this is what you are going to see okay and this is your chart this is for you to keep and this is not all of the prefixes or suffixes they are just the most common okay the most common all right, and so I, there, I, I found another chart that had all of them, and it was just way too long and way too confusing. And I thought, you know what? Let me go straight to the uh, uh, get straight to the punch, get uh, get to the basic ones that we use most of the time, because I don't think we're going to be using you know extremely difficult uh, words or very large words. We just need to know the basics on how. How to use these and also how to recognize them. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to have you guys, uh, let's read through, let's see, four. How many have we got? Yeah, let's do probably four a piece. Okay, I'll start off with uh, Alejandro. Uh, Alejandro, let's go to the, the top of page one. Okay, and what we have here, we have the prefix, the meaning of the prefix, and then the keyword. So what I would like for you to do is read the first four prefixes, their meanings, and their keywords. Okay? Go for it, Alejandro. Uh, prefix anti, against, antifreeze. Okay, that would be antifreeze. 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 Okay, the opposite, the frost. Good. This not opposite of, disagree. In, Excellent. In, cost to, in cut, embrace. Okay, and that would be cause to. So that uh, that causes something to uh, to happen. Okay, encode and embrace. Okay, okay. good. So uh, now we are on four, and this is for Andre. Oh, sorry, Andre. Let me have you read the next four of those, please. Yeah, uh, four uh, before forecast. Uh, in or in uh, meaning in <laughs> and the keyword in feel uh, in in ill ear uh, meaning not uh, the keyword is injustice or impossible uh, inter between interact good interact yeah. nice job yeah. okay yeah, let's go good. to so yes. what the, what does it mean in field? In field, okay. So uh, baseball, okay. Uh, if you are familiar with baseball, okay, you have the infield where which is where the bases are at first, third, and sec or sorry, first, second, and third base. Okay, that's the infield. Okay, if it, you're uh, if you're out in the outfield, that's where you have the uh, three people that are out where they they would catch the balls way far out okay that is the infield you are inside of the, of the uh, field of play okay okay what do you mean forecast forecast hmm. forecast is is to uh, predict the weather uh, okay? Okay. okay yeah so you are forecasting or predicting what the weather so it's for before and then cast I have no clue why we use the word cast there uh, because no one says hey what's the cast today Okay, I don't know why, but uh, but yeah. So usually forecast is just a word, and I've never heard cast um, uh, used in another sense. We we say weather. Okay, but when we're talking about the weather and we want to know what the weather will be like this Saturday, we would say, hey, what's the forecast for this Saturday? Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to uh, Best Miles and Gary. I'm gonna mute you. Uh, I can I can hear you typing, okay? So uh, make sure that your, your microphone is muted. And Besmiles, let me have you read the next four prefixes. Okay, starting okay. with, uh, where are we at? Uh, oh, inter. There you go. Okay. Are we on inter. inter or mid? No, we're on mid, right? Okay, go for it. From where? Mid? 
Well, uh, yeah, mid, I can't remember. Did we did we end on inter or mid? Uh, mid. Uh, I did the inter. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So um. So mid. Mid. Middle. Midway. Miss. Wrongly. Misfire. None. Not. Nonsense. Uh, over. Over. Overlook. So that's it. Oh, what? Good. All right. Thank you. Yep. That would be good. Okay. Let's go to uh, Gary. Gary, let me have you read the next uh, four, starting at pre. Pre before prefix. Pre again return. Semi how? Semi social. Sat and submarine. Good submarine. Awesome. Okay, and the last four uh, are for Aaron. Okay, super above superstar. Trails across transport. Un not unfriend unfriendly. Under 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 sea. Okay, good. Thank you very much. All right, so we're get, we're going to scroll down. Okay, so what this note says here is that the uh, four most frequent prefixes account for 97% of the uh, uh, prefixed words uh, in uh, printed school English. So wherever you see that asterisk, so un, the re, so return, okay, these four that are right here, and dis, okay, those account for 97% of the prefixes used in English. Okay, so th that would mean those are probably the most important ones for you to learn, right? Okay, uh, let's go down to most common suffixes. All right, we're going to read four of these as well. Uh, Inga, please read the first four. Okay, able, able can be done comfortable. All, y'all having correct series six of personal, ed, past tense verbs, hopped. Mm, and made of wooden. Good, thank you. And uh, let's go to the next four. Um, Julie, uh, starting with er. Mm -hmm. Er, yes, it's my favorite. Uh, <laughs> er comparative. Uh -huh. uh, Heiger. Good. Er on one who worker. Actor. Est comparative biggest. Full, full of careful. Uh, All right, very. Uh, I think that was for. Or do one more. That'd be fine. Uh, I think. Ick, ick, yes. Ick. Yep, ick. Ick, and that would be having characteristics of. Hello, Julie, are you there? Uh oh, may have lost her. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, so yeah, having characteristics of. Okay, like linguistic. All right, and uh, let's see, Karar, let me have you do the next four, please, starting with I N G. Yep, uh, ing verb uh, from present particle so running. I on, ti on, ati on, iti on. Act, process, occasion, attraction. Iti and ti. State of, inviting. Ive, ativ, itive. Adjective from of a noun. Plaintive. Okay, good. Less adjective, adjective without. form of the noun. Okay, and let's see. Yep, that would be that would be four right there. Okay, let's go to um, Abigail. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm very fine. <laughs> good, good. All right, good to hear. Let me have you do. Uh, let me have you start where it says less, 
please? Less, without, fearless. Lee, characteristic of, quickly. Meant, action or process, enjoyment. Ness, state of, condition of, kindness. Good, just till there, thank you. And let's go to Alejandro. Let me have you do the last three, please. Uh, Aus, Eusius, Joy, Joyce. Possessing the qualities of Jojo S S more than one books boxes. Why characterized by happy? Okay, good. So um, in the uh, in these words, that first word here is going to be joyous. Joyous. Try that. Joyous. Joyous. Okay, good. And this word here is boxes. Boxes. Good, excellent. Okay, and uh, here again it says uh, uh, the four most frequent suffixes account for 97% of suffixed words in printed school English. Okay, so that, excuse me, the uh, S N E S, the L Y, okay, the I N G, and the E D. Okay, 90% of the suffixed words. Okay. All right, you guys, so um, print this off, save it, uh, do whatever you want with it. It is yours to keep. All right, so um, that, that chart is yours. Let's, uh, let's go to uh, one sister, of our games. What's the, meaning of, what's the meaning of judges or judges? Um, can you spell that? Is that judge? Judges what's like that? What's the end of the, the document? Yeah, I think it's. Can you scroll down the document? It's almost on the end, at the end of the page. Uh, uh, let me. Oh, joyous. Yeah, the spelling is. Uh, yes, that. Joy, uh, that joyous. Word. Okay, to yes. be. Uh, to be uh, Possessing joy, okay? Uh, I'm a very joyous person. I'm, I'm usually very happy. Um, and, uh, yeah, not very many things make me sad or angry or un unhappy. I'm very joyous, so I possess joy. Okay? Okay, joyous. Yeah, yeah. a, a, yeah, yeah. a, syn a synonym for joy would be, it would be yeah, with that J sound. J joy, yes. Joyous. Okay. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, any, any other questions, class? All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's, uh, okay, uh, teacher, excuse me. Sure, yes. Uh, against ice, for example, in my job, uh, uh, pronunciation, correct pronunciation, anti-ice or anti-ice? Okay, you can say either. Uh, you can say uh, anti or anti Anti-ice. Okay. Anti uh, or anti. I, I, I mean, I've heard both. So if we're talking about, uh, um, so uh, you're, you're talking about when, uh, when you have to go over to the station where they spray the plane down? Yes. Okay, uh, sometimes spray, uh, form they, some, they some the yeah, sometimes form uh, ice over the wing and have a device to keep away this, this ice. And we yeah, say, and, uh, you can see... Anti-ice. Uh, Anti-ice, okay. Yeah, anti-ice. Um, here, because it has that, it starts with a, uh, a vowel sound, okay, that is another I, we would probably say anti. Anti-ice. Anti okay, anti-ice. Okay. Okay, thank um, you. Be, be, just, just so that we don't confuse uh, those vowel sounds, so anti-ice. Anti-ice, okay, thank you. Okay, sure, okay. no problem. Uh, any, other, any other questions? Not so much. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's uh, roll, and we are going to go to. <clears throat> let's go to our suffix game first. This one's a short one. All right, so I put that there in the chat box for you. And now, when you open this up, 
this is what you're going to see. Now, um, one thing about suffixes that I want to let you guys know about is that by adding a suffix to a uh, to a noun, you can change nouns into verbs. Okay, and these are the the four the four way one of uh, these are four of the ways you can do it. Okay, so uh, our objective here the ways the ways in which nouns and adjectives okay fix simple solid drama dead can be made into verbs by use of the suffixes eight if I etc. Investigate. Okay, spelling. Okay, spelling. Uh, investigate spelling patterns and generate rules to govern the patterns. Okay, all right, you guys. So, um, uh, this is how the test will be listened to. Okay, so here at the at the end here we have the four the four suffixes or the four endings that we would add to these words. Okay, now uh, who did we uh, who did we end off with uh, Alejandro? So it is Andres Andres' turn. So Andre. What I would like for you to do is tell me which ending, okay, eight, n, if I, or eyes, would need to be added to the word light to make that a verb. Maybe lighten. Good. Yes, lighten. Okay, to lighten. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Okay, how about uh, Gary? Okay, let's take a let's take a look at the word pure. Okay, which uh, which ending, which suffix would we add to the word pure to make that a verb? Gary, can you hear me okay? Okay, let's go to Aaron. Aaron, do you know which ending we would use to make the word pure a verb? You, okay, into verb, you'll be purify. Good. Purif, oops, I need to spell that correctly. Purify, there we go. Nice, purify. okay. Uh, how about the word dead? Okay, Inga, uh, what would we need to add? Okay, eight n if I or eyes to make it dead a verb. E n. E n, and how would that verb sound? Deaden. Deaden, nice. Okay. How about uh, number four? The word is glory, Julie. Um, one moment. Uh, glory, glory. Uh, tell me. Tell me what I need to do here. <laughs> okay, well, let's. Uh, uh, we we want to add an ending, okay, or add a suffix to the end of the word to make it a uh, to change it from a noun into a verb. Uh -huh. Okay, glory. Gl glory would be a noun, but what would be the verb uh -huh. form of that noun? Uh, what do you think? Oh, one moment. One moment. I'm thinking. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm not sure, but gloriate, no? Okay, so uh, let's try these out. Gloriate, okay, glorian, glorify, or gloriize. Ah, oh. oh, yes, I understand now. I'm sorry. I think I am tired a bit. <laughs> okay, which uh, which ending would work best? Work best. Um, for me, it's always okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I, 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 it's okay. So, uh, uh, does anybody in class know which ending we would use here? Glorify. Yes, glorify. Okay, to glorify, and that would make that would change the noun glory into a verb. Glorify. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's try number five. Uh, the word is pollen. Okay, this is for Abigail. Okay, Abigail, uh, which uh, which ending would we use? Pollinate. Good, pollinate. Okay, because we wouldn't say um, pollinate. No, pollify. No, pollinize. Mm -mm. It would be pollinate. 
Okay. All right. How about uh, number six? Okay, Alejandro. The word is note. Note. Not every, I don't have an idea. Okay, let's uh, let's open it up to the class. Okay, if we want to change the word note to a a verb. Okay, what would we uh, what ending would we add? Nothing. No. Okay, there's actually two that we could do here. We could say notate, to notate, or to notify. Notify. Okay, to notate is to write something down. That's to notate. Okay, and to notify would be to um, uh, give information to someone. So the uh, um, uh, the dispatchers or uh, let's see, uh, Aaron had to notify uh, home base or or the uh, I can't remember what they're called right now, but. Uh, um, he had to notify his office or uh, the airport that, that he was uh, flying through a storm or that they were having trouble. He had to notify them. Okay? okay. So that's that verb, to give information to someone else, to notify. Okay? Um, all right. Now, how about dark? And uh, this verb is, or this noun is for Andre. How would we change this to a verb? Um, dark. Uh, I don't know, dark gate, maybe. And we're, we want to make something darker, okay? To make something darker, okay, we would add en to the end. We would say oh, dark darken. End. Okay. Okay, darken. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. We have uh, three more left here. We have the word class. Now, let's see. Gary, are you, are you there, or did you disappear on me? Disappeared. Okay, let's go to Aaron. How about number eight? That's, the word is class. Oh, Gary, you're here. How you doing? That's, uh, okay, so Gary, we are, we are adding... Up. We are adding suffixes to the uh, the end of these nouns to make them into uh, words. Okay, uh, so, sorry to make them into uh, verbs. So here, I uh, what I want to say is I'm going to separate uh, I'm going to separate things into different classes. Okay, so if I want to separate things into different classes, how could I say that in a verb form by adding a suffix? Classificate. Oh, oh you are very close. So class, you can classificate, uh, or you can also classify. Classify. Okay. okay so uh, classification. Classificate is, is it correct? Um. Well, classificate is close. It would be a classification, but uh, to cl okay. classify that would be that would be the verb to classify um, into different classifications. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. How about uh, how about number nine? And this is for uh, Aaron. Number nine. Okay. Straight. I believe that is straighten. Okay. Straighten. Straighten. Good. So straighten. Straighten. Okay. Good. Straighten. Excellent. Okay. And uh, how about how about our last one here? Standard. Inga. Standardize. Standardize. Okay. Now here here they want you to spell it with a uh, S. Uh, in uh, American English we would spell that with a Z. Okay. Standardize. Okay, and I saw your comment here, uh, Abigail, about pollen. Uh, they're probably wanting pollenize then. Um, no, is... no, Chad, it's pollinate. I think becomes uh, e becomes the um, the e after double l is um, become um, i. Okay, let's check it. Pollinate. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, I tested. Oh, whoops! I spent. I uh, 
Pollen eight. Uh, with I. I spelled that incorrectly. In guys right, yeah. Oh, with an I. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> so the uh, the uh, uh, the I or the E after the L you said changes to an I. I yes. Okay, pollinate. Okay, and notify. What's wrong with notify? Notify. Do they change that to a? Notify is okay. Yeah, maybe I'm spelling. Am I spelling it incorrectly? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be. Notify. No, just um, check. Okay, let it. me check it. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be wrong. No, here. No, it's no. Right. Okay, let here me check right. it one more time because I pressed. Uh, I pressed finished and it didn't. Uh, didn't mark it. Um, chat because uh, in front of six. Ah, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it will be okay. Okay. All right. So yeah. So that's uh, class. That's how we would change uh, change words, uh, nouns. Sorry, change nouns into uh, into verbs by just adding an ending, adding the suffix there. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's check out our next uh, our next little game. We may not have time to go uh, to go through very much of it at all because it's more of a memory game. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's try. Let's go to. Uh, okay, our prefix game. So this is uh, this is matching, matching the different uh, the different meanings of the prefixes. And you have to memorize where they're at. So we may not be able to get all of these done, but that's okay. Um, so have your have your chart handy with you, okay? About prefixes, okay? And then we'll go through these and we'll we'll see how many we can grab. All right, so when you do okay, so can you guys see that okay, or is it uh, not big enough? No, it's okay. Oh, come on, Hangouts! I know you want to work for me, but you're just not. All right, give me one second. Good. No. Oh. Ah, dang it! Come on. Sorry, you guys. I can't get back over to uh, Hangouts. It's uh, it's stuck on. All right. Okay. So if you can see that, then uh, fine. So uh, who is my last person was Inga. Let's go to Julie. So how this game is played will uh, will separate into into uh, uh, let's see two different groups. We'll have uh, Abigail. Abigail. And Alejandro and Andre on one side, and then uh, Gary, Aaron, and Inga and Julie on the other side. Okay, so we are only we... three. <laughs> I know, I know. It's okay. <laughs> we have this advantage. <laughs> All right, give me give me one second. There we go. Okay. Uh oh, I don't know. I don't know if this game is going to work out for me. Is it blinking for you guys as well? Yeah. Come on. Okay, let me let me try and open it one more time. Okay. All right, let's see if that did it. No, nope, not gonna happen. All right, you guys, I do apologize. I wanted to go, wanted to go through it. It, uh, whenever I open it up, it, uh, it starts blinking at me. And you guys won't be able to see it. I don't think it's uh, working properly. It may be a, a function with. It, yeah, it does open, but I can't show it on the. I can't show it on the screen. Um. Okay, and so that's. I, I wanted to have uh, two different. Teams going, and then we we'd uh, select the uh, uh, the different. It's kind of like a memory game where you flip flip cards and you try and match them. 
you need to open other another navigator. Mozilla or uh, yeah, and I uh, yeah I did, and, that's, and that was uh, that was the issue. Okay, okay. if, if Andre wants to, yeah, that's cool. What? Yeah, yours is working just fine. Yeah. Yours is working just fine. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and and use on uh, Andres. Okay, so you guys, uh, the the idea here. Okay, uh, behind each of each of those is either going to be a prefix or a uh, definition. All right, so we want to match them up. Okay, so you'll need to tell Andre which uh, which one to select. Okay, and we'll uh, we'll try and see if we can go by points. We only have about five minutes left, um, so we'll we'll see what we can do. All right, so we're gonna have uh, Abigail go first. Okay, Abigail, uh, select okay. two two tiles. Okay. Okay. Um, the first one on the top on the left, yeah, that one, and uh, the the one uh, under me. Here. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, did you select? Did you select those, Andre? Because I did not see it move. Yes, they, they. Yeah, I I saw them move. Yeah. They appear suddenly. They they go away. Huh. No, they they appear, but it's fast to. Uh, they fast okay, go away. Okay, it goes really fast. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. This this may not uh, this may not work very well. That's that's okay, you guys. Uh, what? Let's let's see. Uh, let's let's see if you have uh, any uh, any other questions. We may have to uh, cut out uh, a couple of minutes early. That's okay because I don't think the the game is going to work. Uh, it is going to work the way that I wanted it to. When I when I read through the uh, the uh, um, instructions and the way that it worked, it it sounded like it would be cool, but it uh, obviously isn't working very very well. We're not able to see it. So. Okay, um, so you guys, do you have any questions about prefixes and suffixes, and why why we use them, why they're necessary, things like that? Mm. Not necessarily. Well, the main the main idea behind prefixes prefixes and suffixes is to shorten what we say. Okay, so if you listen listen as I was talking about the word class. Okay, I want to uh, uh, separate different items into classes. Okay, so instead of saying yes, I would like to separate the different items into classes, I could say I want to classify these items. Okay, so it helps you shorten what you're saying. So that's why it's good to know what the different uh, the different uh, prefixes and suffixes are. At the very beginning of class, I was using the word reach. Okay, and uh, I added a uh, a a uh, prefix and a suffix to the end of it, saying unreachable, saying that I was trying to uh, call Karar, and I was calling him. I was trying to reach him by phone. Okay, but he was he was playing soccer, so I could not speak to him at that time. Well, instead of saying I could not speak to him at that time, I can say he was unreachable, meaning un not being able to and a bull having the ability, so I was not able to reach him. Okay, so it shortens the way that uh, that we're able to say say these words. Okay, so go through go through that chart. Okay, study study those words. Try and try and recognize when we use those in writing. Okay, uh, in speaking, things like that. Try and figure out where the uh, where the root word is at, and, and so you can recognize what the prefix and the suffixes would be. Okay, you guys. All right. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end just a couple of minutes early. Is all. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to find another exercise. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I have a doubt uh, about suffix en made of. For example, made of wood. We have keyword wooden. Can you give me an example using wood using uh, wooden? Yes. Um. My my guitar is wooden. Okay, the door is a wooden door. Ah, okay. Okay, um, the the house, okay, is not made of brick. It's made of wood. It is a wooden house. 
wooden house. Okay. Okay. Um, you wooden, could also wooden hat. A wooden oh hat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> In, anything that would be uh, um, made of or whatever. Uh, you can also like if you're talking about dead to deaden. Okay. So to deaden would be to um, make something dead. Okay. okay. Now we talk about uh, dead deaden sound. So if, I used to work in a recording studio a lot. Okay. And they had okay. foam, foam blocks up all over the place that would deaden sound. Deaden sound. Okay. okay. And, and that something means to made stop off or make iron, it sound for dead or not sound. Say that again. Uh, something made of iron or made of iron, for example, is steel. How can I say in the same example? Um, Use the wooden. A wooden. Um, you wouldn't. It, it would be metallic. You would Meta have the oh, ick. Okay. You'd okay. have the ick ending. Oh, okay. So take a take a look at that chart and uh, look down on the on the bottom with suffix. Okay, and you'll see ick there. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that would nice. be having the characteristics of, I believe, something like that. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming to class. I hope you did enjoy it. I apologize for uh, uh, that. That game did not work. I did want to play it. I thought it would be fun. But uh, yes, uh, up next is my reading class. I'm, we're, we're going to be uh, reading through a short story and practicing our pronunciations as we read through it. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thank, thank you, teacher.